What is feline coronavirus or FGUV? FGUV is a common and contagious virus which is passed in the faces of cats. It is more commonly found in multi-cat households and does not affect other animals or people. How does a cat catch FGUV? FGUV is caught by inadvertently swallowing the virus, through contact with other cats, litter trays, or soil where other cats have toileted. Exposure to faces in the litter tray is the most common means of transmission. 40% or more of cats will be infected with the virus at some time in their lives and most owners will be unaware of it. Nearly every cat that encounters the virus will become infected and most will remain healthy and the majority will clear the virus themselves. What problems does FGUV cause? Most cats do not display any sign of being infected with FGUV, although some cats get diarrhea for a few days. These cats tend to shed the virus in their faces for a few months and remain healthy. In a very small percentage of cats, the virus mutates and causes a fatal disease called feline infectious peritonitis, FIP. This is more likely to occur in multi-cat environments and can take weeks, months, or occasionally years after the initial infection with FGUV to develop. If a cat clears FGUV and doesn't develop FIP, is it then immune? Unfortunately not, a cat can become reinfected with FGUV again at any time and can be susceptible to it mutating and causing FIP. Why does FGUV change in some cats? It is not known exactly why the virus changes to cause FIP in some cats, but a number of factors seem to increase its likelihood, stress e.g. moving home, new pets in the house, too many pets in the house, being placed in a boarding cat age, young and old cats are more susceptible a poor immune system or concurrent disease possible genetic factors, although it is extremely rare following a case of FIP for all infected related cats e.g. litter mates, to develop FIP it is thought some. Strains of FGUV may mutate more easily than others and studies to find out more about this complex virus are ongoing. What is FIP? FIP is an uncommon, fatal, viral disease caused by an infection from mutated FGUV. The disease is most common in young cats aged 6 weeks to 2 years old. Cats living with other felines are also more likely to develop the disease. What are the signs of FIP? There are no unique signs of FIP and they do vary. All cats with FIP are unwell and most will have a fever, appear lethargic and go off their food. Two types of disease exist, although there can be a crossover between the two, wet FIP, fluid builds up in the abdomen, causing it to appear swollen. This can also happen in the chest which causes breathing difficulties dry FIP, minimal fluid builds up, but cats may appear dull with a poor appetite and or a high temperature. They may lose weight, have problems with their vision, behavior, or nervous system and can develop jaundice. How is FIP diagnosed? FIP is not easy to diagnose. There is no single test that can be performed on sick cats that will always confirm or rule out FIP. A combination of history, physical findings, blood tests, and testing the fluid from the chest or abdomen can give an indication, but the only definitive way to diagnose FIP is through biopsies taken. Sadly, the disease is often only confirmed at post-mortem. There is also no test available to predict whether a cat with FGUV will develop FIP. A blood test can detect antibodies to FGUV, but this can be misleading as a high level of antibodies only means that the cat has been exposed to the virus at some point. It does not indicate whether the cat is shedding FGUV, i.e. whether the cat poses a risk to other cats, or whether the cat will go on to develop FIP. In some cases, cats that develop FIP actually have no antibodies at all. Special fecal tests can indicate if cat is shedding FGUV, but again this does not indicate whether a cat will develop FIP and a negative result cannot rule out FGUV infection. Is there any treatment for FIP? There is no cure for FIP. Treatment may be given to relieve the symptoms but sadly, most affected cats have to be euthanized. Can FIP be prevented? Unfortunately, 
there is no vaccine in the UK to protect against FGUV infection or FIP. Once a cat is infected with FGUV there is no way of knowing whether it will develop FIP or not. Fewer than 1 in 10 cats infected with FGUV will go on to develop FIP. However, should you suspect that your cat has been exposed to FGUV, minimizing stress may help to reduce the risk of FIP developing. To do this, avoid overcrowding, introducing a new pet or putting your cat into a cattery. Where possible, avoid lots of stressful events happening together e.g. worming, vaccination and neutering. It may also help to remove faces as soon as possible after they are passed, keep your cat's food bowls away from their litter tray and to disinfect the litter tray at least twice a week. How long does the virus survive in the environment? Outdoors, the virus can usually only survive for hours or days. Indoors, in dried up cat litter, it can survive for up to 7 weeks. It is killed by most disinfectants but ensure you use a disinfectant that is safe for felines because some household products are toxic for cats. I already have a cat and I'm thinking of getting another, but am worried a new cat may introduce FGUV into the household. When acquiring any new cat, there is always a chance that it will be infected with FGUV. Around 40% of cats may be infected at some time in their lives. However, don't forget your existing cat may also already be infected as the virus is very common and many infected cats appear to be healthy, or they may pick up the virus in the future. Cats that are over 2 years of age are less likely to develop FIP. It is rare for a resident cat to develop FIP after the introduction of a new cat. In fact, if any of them develop FIP is it is more likely to be the new cat which is affected, perhaps due to the stress following a change of environment. Obviously this would only happen if FGUV is already present in the resident or new cat. Integrating new cats carefully is always important, to minimize stress and ensure a harmonious household. See Cats Protection's Essential Guide, Welcome Home. One of my cats has been diagnosed with FIP, should I isolate them from my other cats? No not in terms of protecting your other cats from FGUV infection. It is highly likely that your other felines will already have been infected with FGUV, but they are no more at risk of developing FIP. It may be helpful to minimize stress and ensure good litter tray hygiene. However with regard to your cat with FIP, speak with your vet about whether some time on its own would be beneficial. My cat died of FIP, when can I get another cat? If it was your only cat, it is probably safe to get another cat six weeks after your cat died. Ensure you disinfect the litter tray, food, and water bowls and surrounding areas with diluted bleach before rinsing thoroughly. If you already have other cats, they are likely to be infected with FGUV and therefore could infect a new cat coming in. Speak to your vet about the best time to get another cat. Some vets may recommend blood or faces tests and waiting until antibody levels have reduced, or virus shedding stops in your current cats, this can take months or years. Also, bear in mind that any new cat may also already be infected with FGUV so your vet may suggest testing the new cat for high antibody levels.